hello everyone in this tutorial i am going to explain what is force then point force and characteristics of point force let us see what is force a force can be defined as a external agent which tends to change the state of a body or particle so by the definition we can say that if i have one body resting on a floor so force is nothing but it is an external agent which is acting from outside which is try to change the position of this body it is trying to maybe it is trying to move this body to this position so that is known as force let us see what is point force So if I say that force, there, there are many types of force, maybe point force, uniformly distributed force and uniformly varying force. These are the basic examples. If I say that point force, that force is acting exactly on particular point or particular particle that is known as point force. So this is the definition of a point force. Let us see, uh, discuss about characteristics of force. So this is also known as elements of force. If I say any force which is acting or if I say any point force which is acting on a particular body I can define four characteristics without that four characteristics I can't define that force so it is also known as element of force I will take the example of a figure to explain this concept or explain these characteristics I taken one figure to explain the characteristics of force in this figure a AB is the ladder this AB is the ladder kept against a wall at a point C one person is standing whose weight is 600 Newton so he is standing at a distance of 2 meter along the ladder from A. So if this is the condition it is having four characteristics. First one that is magnitude. So whatever the weight that is 600 Newton that is known as magnitude. The second characteristic that is point of application so in this figure I can define that the point of application is at a distance of 2 meter from A or I can say that point is C at 2 meter from A along ladder so that is point of application the third characteristic that is line of action 
so in this figure the line of action that is vertical so this is vertical this is horizontal so i can say the line of action that is vertical so last characteristic that is fourth characteristic that is direction so i can say it is acting downward so if one force is acting suppose in upward direction i can say it as upward in the line of action if some force is acting at an angle maybe 30 degree the i can say line of action at an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal so these are the characteristics so in this video we studied what is force it is an external agent which is tends to move the body or which tends to change the state of the body point force which is the force acting at particular point then we discussed about characteristics of force in that first one is magnitude whatever the value point of application where it is acting line of action action how it is acting direction how whether it is upward or downward i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching